Okay, sitting on the bench today. She needs new strings. It's a diamond guitar. Let's string it up. This video is brought to you by Swiss Picks. It's not just a pick. It's a science. Available at Zim's Guitars or at www.swisspicks.com. Diamond guitar, DBZ, Diamond, Dean Zielinski. It's all the same thing. I'm pretty sure that the story is Dean Zielinski. Uh, you know, he used to be part of Dean Guitars. And then when he sold that, uh, he put out DBZ Guitars. And he had like a diamond series with his DBZ guitars. And, but this one is straight up that I think he changed it again and he's just calling them diamond now. Uh, looks at like made in Korea. Uh, set neck construction. So a uh, really nice, you know, blue fade with all the chrome. Ooh, the strings are rough. Definitely needs a restring. This is a guitar that it got traded in, or I bought it a month or so back, and it's just been sitting in the back room, and so it's time to string it up, put it out in the showroom. It is a hardtail, so there's no Floyd that I need to mess around with. And hopefully all the strings will come through there. Look at that. It's got one bullet string on there, the Fender Bullets. Showing us one of them. Wow, that's a weird set of strings right there. So let's get these old ones off of here. I could have tested the electronics before I took the strings off, but we can uh, we can take something and just sort of tap on the pickups. So let's try that. Turn my amp on here. See if she makes noise. See what I can tap on him with. Let's try the old screwdriver. Nice. So we've got some nice electronics. And uh, it's a really beautiful guitar. Um, it's kind of a tiger striped sort of top and uh, this is kind of neat the string through I mean they're high quality guitars you got the binding the block inlays and the frets feel awesome along the side here it has a very unique truss rod cover and a nice set of uh, Grover tuners So let's just clean the frets a little bit here because it is a used guitar. Now this guitar actually, um, I think this is maybe the third time that this guitar has come into the shop. So I'm not a hundred percent positive, but I think this was maybe a guitar that Philip McKnight sold me about four or maybe five years ago and I might have done a video on this thing you know way back then so I think this might have been McKnight's guitar and then I sold it to a guy who traded it back in and then I think I maybe sold it again to another guy that traded it back in so this guitar has been in my possession uh, three times now maybe even four times 
So for some reason this girl can't really find a forever home, which is seems strange because uh, you know it's just a beautiful guitar. But it doesn't bother me that guitars get traded back in after a little while. <clears throat> you know, doesn't bother me. We got plenty of guitars and this is a nice one to have out in the showroom. They're kind of hard to find. I'm not 100% sure if they're still making them or not. So, uh, yeah, this is a cool one to have laying around, floating around in the store. A lot of times guitars have fret wear on the first couple of frets. But this one looks real nice and clean, so it hasn't been played very much. Let's go right ahead and put a set of strings on it. Today's string choice. Today's string choice. Primo Slinky 9.5 through 44s. Get these things out of here. Primo, stinky. Ernie Ball strings. Stringing a lot of guitars lately. At this point, I don't think I'm ever going to run out of guitars to restring. Which is a good thing. Lots of restringing going on. Okay, so my G-string is a 16 gauge. And my B-string is a 12 gauge. And then finally, my high E string is a 9.5 gauge, 9.5. Tuners feel really good on this guitar. Grover tuners, they got the little small buttons, which is neat. Yeah, so let me just stretch these babies out a little bit now. So, I do these videos, so a lot of my regular customers, they can kind of get an idea of some of the new guitars that come into the store. And, uh, you know, once in a while I'll do a video where I have to string up a, a 12 string or something. And so I'm hoping that they're slightly educational at some times. 
But a lot of guys just, you know, they watch a couple of these videos and it just inspires them to clean their guitar, restring their guitar, check the action, do all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it inspires some people once in a while. Customers will tell me and guys in the, co in the comments, leave comments guys. They'll be like, wow, man, because of your videos, I put new strings on all my guitars. Just checking the intonation. Looks pretty darn good. So a diamond guitar. And again, the brand was DBZ Guitars, Dean Zielinski. Let's just see how this action feels. It feels pretty darn good. I don't think anything else needs to be done to this, except I'm going to put a price tag on it. And we're going to put this thing out in, in the um, showroom and try to sell this little guy. So there you go. Thank you guys for watching. This guitar is so clean, I didn't even have to clean it. But here we go. There we go. Yeah, it makes it feel better. Thank you guys for watching. Everybody have a great day. Go out and buy a guitar. Bye, guys.